The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, Tim Boss will be our guest uh, at the break here. Uh, but I wanted to bring this chart to your attention. It was sent to me, uh, oh, three years ago from uh, a, first, a person that follows the Elliott Wave Analyst. And Mr. Prechter was looking to see a top between the 1932 top, which was, excuse me, the bottom, 1932 bottom, and November of 2021. If you remember, the market topped in January the 6th of 2022. Uh, that was the top, and then we had a pretty good break. We really actually was very little. But look, folks, I want you to see the projections that he's made based on pi. You'll notice here 37,775 to 38,530. Now, that's with the regular Dow Jones, not the futures. The futures today hit 37,902 just a little while ago. So we're in the wheelhouse of this potential price pattern uh, completing. And it's not even anything anywhere in his uh, uh, newsletter because I asked to see a copy of it and uh, there's nothing there. I'm going to send it to him to remind him that, hey, this was pretty doggone good. You know, the timing was, uh, you know, timing is the most difficult anyway, but look at the price. I mean, this is pretty nice. But we all, we all know that the market's never going to go down again. Folks, there's not a person that I know, even people that I'm really super duper absolutely close to think the market will not top until sometime in March of 2024 at the earliest, which probably will. That might be the thing that we're looking at. Anyway, that's what we're watching. Now, what I want to spend time here this morning before we have Tim on the line is I, you'll all remember the bottom in the stock market in uh, 2009, uh, March 5th. I wanted to show you that. Here it is right here. Now, this is what we call a stellium. Mr. Uh, Shane Smolian gave it that name. I guess that's what it is called when you have all these planets lined up in the same area. On that day, on the 5th of March, of 2009, we had so many one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the 12 planets were lined up within just a few degrees of each other. This is just totally unbelievable, being at zero degree uh, conjunction, in other words, starting out. Okay, now, how I got started in this astrology stuff, because I was really a disbeliever, folks, being a Catholic and all that stuff. I mean, I really was. But Dr. Miller, who had been a family friend, her husband had been one of my largest customers at Drexel. We traded soybeans from 76 to 82. And uh, John died shortly after that. And then his son, her son passed away unexpectedly right after that. So she lost both of them within a couple of years. And then she lived to be 96. And she still had an open position on in soybeans. And the reason why no one ever knew about it was working <laughs> and so it was really quite comical when the daughter-in-law called me to tell me what had happened. But here's how I got started with this. I, you know, this is this was 1974, folks. You can see October 74. This was the crash of 74. Uh, the actual bottom day, I believe, was the same as this past year, October the 27th. It was around that time that I had all those positions on that I got wiped out of. Didn't trade again until the middle of 1975, so I studied the Gartley book over and over again till I really got a good grasp uh, on what was going on. But you see all these conjunctions. That was the first bottom in the stock market. That was the October crash. After the October crash was over, folks, the market rallied 12 or 13, 14 days. Oh, no, it was more than that. It rallied all through early November, and then on December the 6th, 1974, the Dow made a bottom at 557. That was the bottom in the Dow, and it never looked back. That was the low, folks. And it, it, brought the, it was about eight years later, in 1983, 
that we took out the $1,000 mark in the Dow Jones and Industrial Average, and that's what set the market going crazy to the upside. And with the S&P just trading on the floor of the Mercantile Exchange at a price of about 123, it came on the board at 103, and today we saw a trade at 46. Hundred. Anyway, let's move. Excuse me, forty-seven hundred. As you can see here, the this only shows the uh, the October part. This comes right out of my book, Astro Cycles: uh, The Trader's Viewpoint. But when I saw this, this gave me some real confidence. Yes, maybe these cycles really mean something because that's all they really are. When you see zero degrees, where the arrow is like this, this means this is at zero degrees. It's a starting, just like a new moon. A new moon is zero degrees, okay? When it goes around 180 degrees, okay, that's a conjunction. Uh, yeah, no, this is a conjunction, and the other one is an opposition, and the opposition is a full moon. And so that's what all these things are doing here. But when they all line up together, it's really important. Well, I showed you the one here, over here from 19, uh, where is it, right, from 2005. Okay, there's the one from 2005. What we've got coming very, very shortly. It can happen at any time because we're in this zone right about now. It's just a question of when it hits is something like this that's going to be a pretty big, pretty big deal. So I'm the only person that says, yeah, what goes up will never come down. I think that's right, Gomer. I think that's what Andy Griffith said. To, what was his name? Uh, Don Knott. <laughs> Great old guy. Anyway, we'll uh, We'll see what happens with these markets. But I, I, if you remember in the newsletter that I sent out this week, I said the chances are it's not going to work this year because there's others out there that could make it move. This was a really big one we had on the 13th, and it went through it like it didn't even exist. Why does that happen? It's being pulled by larger cycles. And that's the only reason that can happen, and, and it happens a lot, and that's what you're looking for. What you want to do is you want to see everything lined together. When I saw that picture that I remembered from the Prechter thing of where he forecasted, this was three years ago, folks. He thought the top was in you know January 22, and it looked like it was. Had a pretty good break of about 20%, which really wasn't very much, was it? And then look what happened. Look where we are now. This is what we're looking at, folks. It's something that is going to be uh, – this will be history in the making. And if not, then who knows? We'll see what happens uh, from that level. What's interesting, folks, you have to see the sequence of events here for the end of the year. Look at the last day of the year on New Year's Eve, folks. It, the, the, it's going to be 12, 31, 23, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And, of course, there's uh, – what was his name? The guy from Frankenstein uh, – uh, Monty, what was his Monty? Oh, I can't remember Monty's last name. Anyway, that's uh, that's what we're watching here. But I, I still believe these patterns are there. Markets do go up. Markets do come down. And they do overcorrect. And the fact that we have more people interested in the stock market now than we've ever had. But remember now what happened this past week. And this has all changed now because this is done. You see, these were the first days of the week. You see, look at these increases, folks. Look at this, 11% in the in the NASDAQ, 10% in the Russell, 14%. That was open interest, people buying, folks. Now, they're, they're way ahead because this was last week and the market's still going up. But sometimes these things reverse. I've never seen it happen before, but maybe it could. I don't know. Let's take a little break, and we've got to go over some positions that we're looking at and have a little fun. So stay with us. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page tfnn.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. 
and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFA. NN.com. Call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, we're back, folks. We're going to take a look here at natural gas. Yesterday, our 382 level was right up here at 258. It went as high as 259 and a half, dropped 20 handles down to the exact 61% retracement. This was our profit objective, and look what it's done. It's rallied. It's rallied 11 points after hitting the 61% retracement. It didn't go long there. It just covered the short. And that's uh, where we got out. But the reason why was a beautiful 382 that we had here. Okay, now let's move on here and talk a little bit about the uh, crude oil because that's a really big one that's going on go nowadays with everybody talking about what's going on with the Red Sea. We all know about the things that Bill Meridian told us on uh, Monday. And that was about the bullishness. Excuse me, he was on Friday. And you'll notice here, we were looking for the pullback to the 382 right here. We covered the long positions right here at 83. You see, that was a 382. But look at this, folks. I mentioned we get above here, it was going to run, and it has. You see, had a big run in here. Whatever breaks above that after just missing the 382 here by $110, boy, it's got a it's got a lot going for it uh, to the upside, and that's what we're looking at. And on this, I don't know anything about – well, I know where the Red Sea is, of course, and I know what color it is. It's not really red. But anyway, that's what we're watching. You'll see that we will have the old standby that we use here, which has never failed us in 60-some years. Don't work all the time, but it never fails. And that you'll see here fails quite a bit, actually. We're going to be looking at $76, 75 74 another 2 bucks higher quite easily here. Uh, in this market if the Red Sea keeps being blocked because it's uh, causing a lot of problems. Looking at this on the long-term daily, 
you see that only takes you to 77 the 75 level only takes you just a little above the 61 percent retracement so this is still a bearish market you know look look at the move we had here off the bottom i mean this thing this thing went from uh, 76 to 96 rally 20 dollars a barrel well 20 dollars a barrel off the bottom here is 77 that's right there so you see you could easily make a 382 on this whole move and still be incredibly bearish on crude oil there it is right there there's your 382 there's your abcd everything coming between 77 and 78 so that's what we're watching so we'll see whether that means anything but we certainly think it does right now now we'll do gold in just a second but let's take a look here at the uh i'm not going to do the s p because you know we did it yesterday it went up to 96 and uh we thought it was going to back off. It only backed off seven points, folks. It only got down to 89 and stayed there all night. And I mentioned in the morning video, <laughs> this thing ain't going down because it doesn't make any difference what the news is. It just didn't want to go down. Now, here is the price of the pre treasury bonds that we've been watching very closely. There's our number that we've been watching. Remember, this is a number. We were, we were selling at 124. Uh, 03, we went all the way down. We had about $1,000 in it yesterday, went back slightly negative. Now it's up about 10 pips. But on the long-term price of this long-term weekly, we are setting right there. There's your there's your 124.02. You see it on the right over there? That's a 61% retracement, okay? In a bear market, you can see it's going down, okay? It's a 61% of that move right here. It's equal to the same move that we had back here. Look at that. See how that is exactly the same and exactly the same almost? See, that market's just repeating over and over again. What do you think the odds are that it's going to go down one more time? Who knows? But that's why we're watching this so closely here at this level. All it is, folks, is about risk control. That's what it's really all about. You want to be able to use risk control. This is what it looks like over the last three or four trading days. You see it has a, there, there was yesterday's low. Uh, we had a little bit lower highs in here, but the high was actually made here on the uh, 15th, and here we are out on the 19th. Now, this week is super important from a cycle basis, folks, for three reasons. One is we've got the winter solstice coming up, which is on the uh, 21st of, I believe it's a month, what is it, the 21st? Yep, it's the first day of winter, and then on the 22nd is a big astro calendar date from the old Mayans. And so I don't know whether it means anything or not, but we've had some big moves here. Uh, but we'll, we'll see what happens. I think December is going to be a very historic month, much like it was in 1974, folks. Folks, <laughs> when you go to a Christmas party that you, with, your, with your friends uh, from the church and all they talk about is how much money they're making in the stock market, you should be really taking notes on that one. You don't want to miss any of those things, do you? I don't think so, but we'll figure out uh, this out together no matter what happens. Now, let's get over to the old precious metal here and see where we are. And we'll, we'll cover cattle, too, so just be patient, boys and girls. Here's what we were really hoping for today. We saw the big move down here. We rallied up to the 61, 50% retracement yesterday at 47. You see the line that I drew here? This is the line that I had in this morning talking to the folks. If we can get below this line, we're going to get down to this level here at 2015. I said, if not, we're probably going to go up and make some higher highs up in here. Now, we haven't made a new high from the 14th, but we're not too far away. We missed about a buck and a half, but we're down $10 from that. So all that was this morning, if you take a look at this, just get rid of some of this a little bit here. That's all this was this morning was this move right here. There's your low from the uh, the 15th, okay? There's your hot. Oops, it draws it in the wrong way. Hold on a second. There's your low right here. There's your high right there. You come down to your right here. We should have got to 254. We got to 258. Uh, 255, 258. Missed it by $3 on the ABCD. Now what we'll be locking, watching for, because this is a possibility now for being real bullish, we had a sell-off here, 248 down to two. We dropped $12. So you just move this over just like we did in the crude oil. And you're going to see, there it is, uh, in the Treasury bonds, I mean. And there's your number right here to watch. And we're not far away, folks. We're only a buck or two away from that. And why that is important? Because if you go from your low right here 
to your high right up there. Bada bing, bada boom. Watch the old drummer bell when he gets to right there at 249. That's two bucks from where it is right now because if it can hold this, and if it can hold this, we are going uptown. And if we don't, we're probably going to go downtown. That's how this trend thing works with the 382. It's just an amazing, amazing number in the Fibonacci sequence, and I owe Tom Hugard the world for that. We've got a uh, break coming up here uh, in about 36 seconds, and then we're going to have Tim Bost on uh, as our guest. He hasn't been on for a couple of years. He's great to be back, Financial Cycles Weekly, and he's got a new book, folks. So let's take a break here, and we'll be right back with Mr. Tim Boss, the Financial Cycles Weekly. Tigers, it's the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. He said he was on Skype. Uh, 
God. I think we have Tim Bosta on the line today. Tim, are you there? I think somebody by that name's here. That's good. Well, well, well. How, <laughs> good Tim, to hear your voice, lot. brother. How are you today? I got it, my friend. <laughs> it's been, what, two and a half, three years since you've been on? Well, a couple of years, anyway. Couple yeah, years. I have had some uh, health challenges along the way, and spent a lot of time uh, in a hospital bed reflecting on the markets in absentia. So. <laughs> it's How a good place doing, to be uh, sometimes, actually. Oh, tell me about it, especially, especially if you're short, you want to be in a hospital anyway. Exactly. Let me ask you a right. question, Tim. Are you doing much better now? You're on the road to recovery? I am improving, yeah. I, I uh, have got uh, out of the hospital about uh, uh, six, seven months ago and spent some time with home health care folks and physical therapists and whatnot. And uh, and getting back in the swing of things, uh, uh, okay. not ready to go out and run marathons or play tennis much, but I can uh, <laughs> hobble around and think. <laughs> That's a good thing. I haven't thing, done right? that for 17 years, so we're about the there same boat there. <laughs> Listen, uh, you've got a new book coming out. You want to tell the folks? Uh, i got some questions here. I do not have Tim's chart. Uh, is he, are you on Skype? Are you able to share your things uh, on Skype? No, yeah, I, I sent you the, the PDF on the charts. Do you not have those? Or, or? I, I do have that, but what I'll need to do is to go up and bring them up through the okay. – uh, through the uh, oh, just just take me a second. Tell us about the book while I get this ready. Yeah, we'll we'll chat about that a little bit because yeah. I've got some uh, slides on that, and and we talk about some of the main features in that. We also want to talk a little bit about uh, uh, the upcoming event here with the solstice in a couple of days, and some of the uh, forecasts concerning with that. Uh, the book focuses on Mercury retrograde uh, cycles, and uh, uh, what I've, I've been doing here is we've worked with Mercury for a long time, about ten years ago. Uh, wrote our, our book, uh, Mercury, Money, and the Markets, uh, which is uh, still pretty much the definitive uh, exploration in that area. Uh, but I've been looking at shorter-term trading strategies and looking for different signals within the Mercury uh, cycle. So I've been doing research here for the last uh, six months or so uh, on Mercury direct stations as particular triggers for market movements. Because what happens is Mercury goes retrograde about three times a year. Each time it does, it stays retrograde for about three weeks, and then it makes what we call the direct station. It goes back into forward motion. That proves to be a very, very important part of the cycle in terms of uh, ref uh, prices and, and their reflection in the markets. Uh, so what we've done is uh, done back testing and deep di uh, dive kind of research into a lot of possible uh, equities trades in particular, along with some commodities and, and uh, indices, uh, to to see what happens with the Mercury direct stations. Then based on that, uh, we've applied that to the current Mercury cycle, refined our backtesting strategies, and so our book contains over 65 different trade setups, uh, starting this week, in fact, and going all the way uh, through the end of January uh, in terms of uh, 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 swing trades that you can take a look at uh, uh, based on this Mercury retrograde uh, cycle. And for each one, we feature, of course, the exact entry date and exit date for our proposed swing trade. In addition to that, we've done our back testing, so we can tell you two things. First of all, uh, the anticipated ROI on the trade. You know, is it going to be worth a while to do it or not? And that will vary, of course, from situation to situation. But most importantly, we also go back and figure out the probability of success for each of these trades oh. that's featured. That's in perfect. the book. Yeah. And so, you know, it's one thing to say, well, there's always risk in the market. Past performance doesn't guarantee future results. We know that by heart. <laughs> but uh, the fact yeah. is, what is the risk involved? So if I've got a trade that has a you know 40% chance of succeeding, I may not want to take that. But if I've got one that's a 60% chance, I might want to take a look at that instead. And if I can hit 70% or so, then it's a slam dunk as far as I'm concerned. It's worth uh, taking a look at and putting some money in it. Uh, so we offer that with each one of these setups, and for every one of the equities that we uh, took a look at, we calculated both a long position and a short position, uh, you know, obviously with diff different entry dates uh, and, and probabilities there. Uh, but depending on what the, the, the given environment is and what your mood is, whether you like to, to sell short or uh, okay. uh, take the long positions, uh, we've got that for you in, in the book. So the ebook was uh, just came, hot off the press uh, a little less than a week ago. 
Uh, we had it uh, published here. Uh, Mercury began its retrograde cycle uh, on Wednesday of last week, and it will last uh, through New Year's Day. And it's kind of unusual because we had Mercury retrograde for the entire rest of the year. Then on New Year's, uh, Mercury goes direct, and we can start the new year with a, a, a little sigh of relief in that regard. I a sigh of relief. I've heard that one before. Kim, <laughs> uh, you you remember uh, uh, Andrew Lowe from MIT? They wrote the book uh, "Don Rand and Walked on Wall Street." He wrote a book called "The Evolution of Technical Analysis" in the first fifty right, pages right. in there. Hmm. You know, he talked about how the Sumerians and Babylonians had marked full moons, new moons, and the movement of Mercury. That was a big thing. You know, you're talking about eight thousand exactly. years ago. They knew this, and they these people <laughs> didn't know the Earth was round until what uh, 2012 or something. <laughs> Exactly. I, yeah. I think they haven't concluded that yet. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's for sure. So well, that's anyway, really yeah, there's a long tradition of this. We can go back and look at the work that was happening then. Um, but what I was interested in doing is is finding out what we can do with it in terms of a brass tax. In other words, can we actually set up trades now based on some of these studies and, and forecast them in advance so that you can know a month ahead of time I'm going to uh, take a long position on X date and I'm going to hold that for seven trading days or whatever it may be and then clear the position uh, and and here's my, my likelihood of, 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 of uh, taking a profit with that trade. So even though past performance doesn't guarantee future results, uh, we still base it all on past performance <laughs> and we do yeah. the back testing to see what it's done. What we're doing differently here is taking that past performance, looking at the results, and then using that to calibrate uh, the probability of success for any one of these trades. So it's very, very valuable uh, stuff. And again, because it's an ebook, you can get an instant download uh, with that. Um, so if you find the slides, uh, we can uh, show the, the link to uh, doing that. Otherwise, I can spell okay. it out here. Well, let's get up here. We're going to be looking at this Dow Jones and Capricorn Solstice to start off. All right. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, with um, – Astro trading, we're concerned with uh, changes and, and changes in the in the sky with the planets correlating with potential changes in the markets. And so, when we get a solstice like we have in, coming up in two days, uh, that uh, is, a, is a change. It's a change of season, right? Uh, it's the first day of winter in the northern hemisphere, uh, but our folks uh, down under uh, are experiencing the first day of summer. Uh, so it's a it's a change of seasons, regardless whether you're north or south, uh, and so. I refer to it as the Capricorn solstice. Oh, yeah. well, we've got to pay a few bills. Stay uh, with us, folks. Sun into Capricorn. Yep, yeah, we've got to pay a few bills. Stay I'll with stand us. Stand by. We'll be right back with Tim in just about three minutes, folks. Don't miss this. This is good stuff. <clears throat> You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're back with Tim Boston. We're talking about the Dow Jones and Capricorn a solstice trade that's coming up here in just a couple of days. Your target up here has been met today, Al. I, or, uh, Tim, I just noticed that the price is actually exactly right there in the Dow Jones Industrial Average at 37400 and some. Okay, I think I made an error when I typed that in there. <laughs> so, oh, okay, because that that, that's pretty close. Let me that's grab my calculator. Let me revise that here because that's a, a little bit off target there. So, yeah. sometimes, well, not really. Uh, 37, uh, sometimes this stuff works out. Sometimes it just gets sloppy. How's that? <laughs> oh, no, no. Could it, could it be two days early? I mean, you're talking about something. Yeah, to, well, to exactly. Early. No. Um, we're, we're definitely uh, looking at this uh, kind of price range here. Uh, I was calculating on the basis of 37,450 times 0.225. And let's see there. That means we want to add about 842 points to that number. Okay. <clears throat> So you know we're gonna we're gonna put it in. We'll we'll uh, uh, say okay, eight forty-two plus eight forty-two plus thirty-seven three fifty. Like thirty-eight. So that target right? should be yeah about uh, thirty-eight uh, one ninety-two one you know thirty-eight let's say thirty thirty-eight two hundred range uh, is okay. what we're actually looking at there. I okay. appreciate you pointing that out. So, so much That's for the okay. I, listen to what, I, res <laughs> I respect your work. So, uh, now well, this is what's happening one here is you know, we're, wow. we're using yeah the 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 solstice now. Again, the exact timing of the solstice will be on Thursday, uh, Eastern Time. Uh, it's uh, about six hours after the closing bell uh, that day. Uh, so a trade could be entered at the close on Thursday or, you know, first thing on, on Friday and, and still kind of qualify for lining up with the, the solstice. I decided to track the Dow because it's been uh, much in the news and is popularly followed. And so if we, we start to hit that kind of number, then it is likely to get some attention. Uh, but essentially what we see with this pattern uh, with uh, the, the, the Dow, is a period of congestion uh, for about uh, two weeks or so prior to the solstice. And so uh, we, we note some, some ups and downs with that. Uh, one of those happened to be an all-time high for the Dow, so uh, every year is a little bit of an exception. This is based on the average. Uh -huh. 
the Dow to see what it does under these circumstances. And so, you know, we got, uh, you know, reasonable uh, statistical validity here. <laughs> but uh, uh, okay. based on that, what we're seeing here is uh, entering a trade on the long side with the Dow uh, on uh, the solstice, uh, which will be okay. uh, this Thursday, and then holding that position until the 8th of uh of January, uh, week after New Year's, and, and closing that out on Monday, January 8th, uh, we're anticipating about a, a two point, uh, about a two and a quarter percent um, uh, in, uh, hike in the, in the Dow. It's a pretty okay. strong bullish signal there. Uh, so again, with our uh, back testing and studies of this, we like to figure out the probability. And if my numbers are correct here, this has a 78 percent likelihood of occurring uh, if uh, we follow the, that uh, that pattern, wow! So, uh, well, this, what we want to you know we want to do is have you back on in the second week of January and see how these things turned out. We'll all take a look at it, and yeah, then you can sure. help me scrape the egg off my face, and we'll go on from no, there. Right? Listen, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you know what you do when you take egg? You, know, you add some bacon, you got a full meal. That's all you yeah, have to that's do. That's right. <laughs> if you're going to have an omelet, I you got to get in the market, yeah. right? <laughs> you know, I, I, I was said every time I started, I said, I wish someday I'd be wrong just to see how it feels. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, we sleep so, well in, my, in our old age, my friend. <laughs> oh, God, don't tell me about that. Make That's up it. all kinds of stuff around here. Okay, the old uh, if you got the chart for, the chart for gold, I think that's kind yes, of interesting, yes, especially. That's another one, too. We should talk about it, that one. That's really interesting. Your um, right remarks uh, earlier in the, in the show, you were talking about gold and uh, yeah. see, seeing which way it turns out. We'll, we'll either uh, hit a low, a uh, new, new low here, or uh, things should really break out. And I'm going to vote on the bullish side here based on this study. Um, you know, with, with the chart, of course, the solstice point is at that zero point in the middle of uh, the chart. And prior to that, uh, it's a period of some congestion uh, and a decided downturn uh, about a week before the solstice. So, you know, we're uh, in, in some questionable territory, testing some lows here along along the way. So I think that's, that's panning out pretty well with what we're actually seeing in the market. Uh, with the solstice, we could see a down day or two immediately uh, following. Following that, so perhaps uh, even a pullback into the beginning of next week. Uh, but from that point on, then uh, it is a strong, strong upward move. Uh, we saw a move upward with the, the Dow for about uh, two and a quarter percent. We're looking at a, a potential gain of 6.75 percent here uh, during that same period of time. Uh, that's you know freakish if we in fact see it. It's 120 so bucks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. What would we see here? And and uh, this, if with our back testing, it has about a 74 uh, percent uh, probability of uh, uh, being a profitable trade here. So, um, not quite as strong as what we're seeing with the Dow at 78 percent probability, but still uh, worth taking a look at. I, I think, especially if we get the kind of confirmation uh, you were talking about earlier uh, in the show. Uh, you know, and always with these astro indicators, we like to use use them as confirming factors. And that's one of the things that we're uh, interested in, in, in working with here, that, that we've got uh, uh, these dynamics that are going on. We do our technical analysis. We look at the fundamentals. The trade has to make sense at a lot of levels. And then we apply the astrology to say, does this bear it out or not? And if so, we can refine our timing a little bit. Uh, we can add additional confidence to our analysis. Sometimes it contradicts things and we back off. And so... Uh, it, it, it's made to, to work with other uh, studies. We don't trade on the basis of just the planetary position by themselves. And uh, that's a, a mistake a lot of people who get involved with astro trading make. They think, okay, I've got the magic bullet now, so I'll just keep oh, yeah. firing the gun. <laughs> and they shoot themselves yeah. in the foot instead. Right? I have one question, Tim. Uh, your date of uh, January 8th, does that have any influencing on the fact that it happens to be the King Elvis Aaron Presley's birthday? Oh, I had, I had forgotten that. Well, obviously, that's the reason. <laughs> well, you're not a real fan then, Cowboy. We're going to have to not let you get back into building, that's for sure. That's Tell, us right. more. Tell us more about your book. 
That's uh, the yeah, main thing. So, that, so uh, as I mentioned, well, we've got Mercury currently in retrograde motion. Uh -huh. And this is an important uh, point here because, uh, you know, Mercury went retrograde last Wednesday on the 13th. As I mentioned earlier, uh, it will return to direct motion on New Year's Day, on January 1st. Uh, so we're looking for a shift in trend then. And again, when we see these changes in planetary uh, direction or planetary motion, uh, uh, it doesn't control the markets, but we look for potential changes that coincide with them. And so that's why we study these phenomena. Now, Mercury retrograde periods are pretty well known. Uh, it's got okay. kind of a bad we gotta rap. Take another <laughs> break. We, Tim, we got to okay. take another break. Stay with us. we got a two-minute segment after the break, so stay with us All for right. that, please. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar, Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. And screen one. We're back with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly, hopefully on the air. 
Yeah, I'm let's on just the air. See you're on the I air. Think, we're all on yeah, the air. Yeah, well, I think we're on the air. Okay, now they we can need get all the air book. we can get, right? <laughs> now, the good part about this, I see on the left hand side where the title is, you're going to be doing this every three or four months then, because that'll keep up during the time when it's retrograde and direct? Right. Each time Mercury is going retrograde, our intention is to, to uh, put out a new edition of this uh, so that all the trades are, are dated. Uh, this right. uh, includes uh, trade setups that start uh, this month in December. And and uh, the the, uh, the last ones will clear out in early February. So okay. uh, you're really entering trades in December and January with this. Um, and uh, again, over 65 of them, and if you count both the short and long positions. Uh, so you don't want to necessarily take all the positions, but uh, you oh, it'd be good to see what the statistics are. What what are you charging for the book? Uh, uh, the, the list price is one twenty nine fifty. It's on uh, okay. a, a preliminary discount right now, and uh, you can get the book at uh, bit.ly slash two three mr two four. That's uh, twenty three dollars a trade. That's less than commission. Well, there you go, and then yeah. uh, it's it's uh, twenty three mr. Uh, both those is capital M, capital R for Mercury retrograde, and twenty four. So bit.ly slash twenty three mr two four, and if you go to bit.ly slash Tim Larry P, capital T I M, capital L A R R Y, capital P. Uh, get on our mailing list there, and we'll send you a discount coupon uh, for the book as well, so you can save even more on that. So oh, bring, the, nice. bring that price down. It is available as an instant uh, download, and we're really excited about the prospects with all this. In fact, if you uh, move oh, now, uh, we've got uh, some real good trade setups coming over the next couple of days here. So uh, take Thank a look you, at my it. friend. We're going to have you on in January. Thank you. We'll so see you uh, second week of January. Happy see holidays. We, we, we'll yeah. still... Good to have you back, Thanks. buddy. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow, folks. May God bless.